This is what low testosterone looks like. A man complaining about fatty meat. Welcome to 2020. Uh Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, let's face it, veganism lies in the dirt. You shouldn't beat a dead horse. You shouldn't kick somebody when he's down. But thinking back when veganism was in its glory days, on its peak, and vegan gains was fantasizing about stomping babies to death. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking pavement. The vegans made sure to debunk and destroy everybody that didn't agree with their religion. So we're gonna proceed one reaction video at the time until veganism dies. Hey guys, welcome back to Hello. another What I Eat In A Day vlog vegan couple edition. We're having That's a really- us, we're vegan couple. <laughs> it is us. We're having a super- Why do they all look the same, man? Super late breakfast. We have been waking up kind of early lately, early mm -hmm. for us, and doing exercise. You can spot them from miles away. Obviously, they are vegans. Look at this. Blue hair, red hair, all the colorful tattoos. Vegans. First thing in the morning, we've been alternating like- weightlifting and some form of cardio so eric will jog i'll like jog walk on that note the excessive amounts of exercise that are needed to keep up some level of fitness are ridiculous whilst being on a vegan diet the value return margin is absolutely minuscule they are working out every day doing cardio lifting weights looking like this jogging but it is this, better in the morning. It is. It's nice it's, and breezy and cool. You beat the heat. So this morning- So feminine. Morning, I took my- I'm talking about the boyfriend. I hiking backpack actually and I jogged to the store, picked up a couple of ingredients for breakfast and we got back, took a shower and- What's going on with her hand? And we are about to make a scramble. So we are deviating from our okay. daily smoothie bowl today because I was craving something savory. Ah, there it is. We just saw this one in Unnatural Vegan's fridge. Free. I got some more just egg, got some veggies. This is some shiitake mushrooms. We made ramen the other day, so we had a couple leftovers. Got some spinach, some scallions. Eric actually grew these. Oh, I did? Mm hmm Those I are scallions. Know, I didn't realize. Yeah, we've been replanted. So feminized. It's really crazy to see what the vegan diet does to men. In the white parts of scallions in our backyard, and they've been springing up. That's they're, why they smell so good. They're very, very... Pungent. Very pungent, very strong. <laughs> yeah. And fresh. Yeah. And then we've got some bell pepper and some little tomatoes. I got a mm -hmm. really ripe avocado and then I discovered some cream cheese in the back of our fridge yesterday. We did like an impromptu. It's always the same. A whole food plant-based diet can reverse heart disease. Yeah, sure. Look at this. It is egg replacements, cheese replacements every single time. Man, what is going on with humanity? Why don't you see this? How can you be so blind? All those veggies won't nourish you. So what you want is dairy and eggs. Why don't you just eat them? To uh, uh. fridge clean out because we are moving quite soon. So, well, we pr probably still have more it's stuff crazy. than other humans, but we did get rid of a lot of stuff. Uh. Then I also picked up some Dave's killer bagels to have with the cream cheese. So let's, let's, let's scramble. Gonna... Let's look at this. You have the oxalate written greens. You have the goitrogenic nightshades and you have some mushrooms. None of this will sustain you. None of this will give you energy. None of this will give you building blocks for your body. So in order to get some protein, you have to pay a company that produces just egg. It is so just, just for everyone. It is ridiculous. You are spending three times the amount and you are supporting plastic. But yeah, I guess if you don't get a straw at Starbucks, you will save the planet with your soy latte. Put salsa on mine. We have this super spicy. It's pretty good though. We actually cut it with, yeah. we had some leftover 
like mild salsa mm -hmm. and we, we combine because it's really really hot it's really really hot i'm not saying everything except for the tomatoes i'm gonna throw the tomatoes in like at the very last minute this here will give you heart disease again it is advertising to gullible idiots they call it earth balance yeah if the label says so i must be captain planet i'm gonna save the world with earth balance this is nothing but canola oil. This is nothing but plant oils. This is nothing but omega-6s. This is nothing but heart disease in a box. They can get warm through, but they won't like disintegrate. <sighs> just, a little bit of earth balance. just use butter, please, like your mama did. Balance. We still have a couple tubs of vegan butter left over from our vegan butter taste <laughs> test over a month, like two months ago. <laughs> that we're trying to use that before the move. Sorry for how dark this is. The side of our kitchen is not well lit. Yeah, just added our egg. Macro shot. Uh, okay, yet again, veganism is based on what? Of course, you have different angles to look at that subject. So it could be ethical. You simply don't want to eat animals. Okay, I understand that. However, keep in mind that if you eat bread, you are killing millions of rodents. You are still killing animals when you eat like this. Second point, health, right? It's either the ethics or the health or the environment. What's up with the health? You are eating vegetable oils. Everybody agrees that this will give you heart disease. Everybody agrees that wheat is probably not that great. So now we establish that this is not healthy and that this is not ethical. Hmm, how about the environment? How about the environment? If you want to have crops, you have to deforest this planet and you have to create monocultures. Those monocultures destroy the environment and of course kill more animals. Again, veganism is nothing but a sad joke. Get it in your head. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's mostly vegetables, which is kind of what I <laughs> Yeah, but it's not. It's mostly processed gunk. I was going for. For health. For health. Mostly vegetables and bagel. Yeah. Mm. Um, Let's just not talk about the chemical gunk in a plastic bottle. Cutting up this avocado right here. All right. Breakfast is served. <sighs> I put like a fat layer of kaito cream cheese, a little bit of this everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. So, so good. Eric put butter. It's always so, so good. Can we just, and, uh, can we just appreciate what happens when Sarah puts hers together? Yeah. And I put mine together. The, di the difference. Look how much worse mine looks. It looks beautiful. You just started eating it already. I, it looks like a boy did it. Because a boy did it. You seem very boyish. Ooh. Tiny boy, ah. little boy, Ooh. baby boy, I need you. Cut up the entire avocado, even though I didn't, I didn't know Sarah didn't want to use the entire thing. Because sometimes... Now we're committed. Now we're locked in. If we don't eat it all right now, it's going to go rancid. <laughs> so, which means she cut up her avocado all fancy, and I had to cut up mine by myself. And it looks stupid. <laughs> all you gotta do is, uh... What's going on with your hand? I really would like to know. A little, a little fanning. Turn it into a Pop-Tart. I'm putting about two tablespoons. That vegan life. Eating, starving, watching more vegan recipes. Amazing! <laughs> That's a good... This is like the crispy garlic one. So good. I put it on everything. <laughs> so good. It's amazing. And I'm going to buy more once we're moved in. It's just like oil infused with chilies. And in this case, like little crispy bits of garlic. I don't know how it stays crispy in the right. oil. But it's like, it's so good. Highly recommend. We need a so good counter. It's over 9,000! Hey guys, we are back for lunch. I just prepped all the ingredients to make a cold noodle salad. I've been trying my best to have... Some kind of salad every day for lunch, or if not for lunch, then for dinner, just because I want to make sure I'm getting in lots of vegetables. Just because somebody told you that vegetables are healthy. Meanwhile, you have carnivores that eat no vegetables whatsoever and are healthier than you. How come? I've been on a healthy eating kick, so it feels mm. good. No, you haven't been. You've been on a brainwashed vegan kick. If you would be on a health kick, you would eat meat. I've got a bunch of veggies here. I have some cucumber that I cut into matchsticks. I used my mandolin to julienne a couple carrots. Got some 
actually a lot of cilantro because I love cilantro. Listen guys, there's nothing wrong with eating a salad here and there. I have nothing against the vegetables. But this whole bowl that would feed a family has not even 1% of the nutrition of raw liver. You would just have to nibble on a couple of pieces of raw liver and you would get more vitamins in than this whole bowl. Think about it. Some scallions and then the other half of the red bell pepper that we used in our scramble this morning. Slice that up and then this is uh, brown rice my fun noodles and I just boiled them and they've been chilled. Brown rice is actually worse for you. Ancient civilizations have understood that stripping off the shell is healthier for you. You get rid of the anti-nutrients when you polish the rice. White rice is healthier than brown rice. And some ice. So nice and cold. I'm just going to kind of wing it with the dressing. There we go. Got to get in there with the hands, I think. It's the best way to mix noodles. What is going on with her hands again? But anyways, this cold noodle salad, why would you do that? If you're eating noodles, at least make a stir fry. Actually, let's use the pot because I have this tendency to pick a uh, mixing vessel that's always just one or two sizes too small. I am currently in the process of editing another cookbook review. I tested a bunch of recipes from the Mississippi Vegan Cookbook and he called- They're reviewing each other's cookbooks. <laughs> for tamari in a lot uh, of his recipes, just to make them super umami. I have never- Umami. Umami or savorness is one of the five basic tastes together with sweetness, sourness, bitterness and saltiness. It has been described as savory and is characteristic of broths and cooked meats. Go figure. I haven't really cooked with tamari that much, but I definitely have a newfound appreciation for it. I always kind of assumed it was just like interchangeable with soy sauce, which it, it is to some extent. Uh, but everything is trying to replicate animal meats. Say it with me. Vegans love meat. I'm definitely appreciating like the ways that they're different. So big fan of tamari these days. I think I want a little more spice actually, so. <laughs> yes, spice is missing. It's not the meat. Maybe a little extra vinegar. I'm gonna double check and just make sure we don't have a lime floating around in one of our drawers. Mm-hmm. It is ready. Actually, I'm gonna do a little <laughs> bit of garlic. Sure, it's ready. It's just a bowl of carbs, but it's ready. Powder. Just because I'm too lazy right now to mince up fresh garlic. Just a little bit. Now, look how many ingredients you need to make noodles taste good. Meanwhile, you can just eat a piece of raw fish. Now use your brain for one second and think about why that is. And think about why you believe you are a herbivore. Now I think it's perfect. perfect. I really like the same combination of like veggies and dressing with the, the japchae noodles. The, they're like sweet potato or yam noodles. You get in the Asian section. Uh, so sad. You're gonna be so hungry I'm after this. Plating our noodles. I really wanted to top these with roasted peanuts, so I picked some out of this trail mix <laughs> to chop up. I just feel like it's necessary. So I agree. We get a little sprinkle here. As the person who didn't have to put in the effort <laughs> to chop them up, I agree. Okay, and then I got some more scallions. And some extra lime wedges, just in case. Mostly decorative, let's be real. You know, I was wondering, it's 5.20 now. Is this a late lunch and we're gonna have a really late dinner later? Or is this a really early dinner and we're gonna oh, have Oh man, are you really the boyfriend or the best friend? And dinner later. Dinner number one. I like dinner number one. Yeah, it's all a matter of perspective. Oh yeah, I put the, the remaining yes. quarter of the avocado on Eric's, right there. Gotta get them healthy fats in. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Those healthy fats, yet again, who told you? Why are avocados healthy fats? How do you know? How come that our body is made out of cholesterol? How come that fiber ferments and becomes butyrate? 
which is a short chain fatty acid found in butter. How come that the longest living populations have higher cholesterol? Questions, so many questions. So healthy. This is exactly what I wanted with something healthy. I was gonna put some tofu <laughs> in, just like pepper and garlic powder, but I don't know what we're having for dinner. And we might have tofu for dinner, so I wanted to wait. Uh. Mm. <laughs> I'm good, right? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing, sis. It's so fresh. What should we have for dinner? Sure. You wanna make something? We had Chipotle yesterday and it was not a good experience for us. There was a piece of steak in one of the, in one of our bowls. I put it in my mouth and I bit down and I was like, that's not so fritas. And I pulled it out and it wasn't just a piece of steak. It was like an all fat piece of steak. Oh no, not the bad fat. And it was, the, it was so disgusting. Oh. Like if it was just a piece of steak, I think I could handle like just, oh, okay. Take it out of your mouth, put mm -hmm. it down. That was gross. But because it was so fatty, it really, really disturbed me. It was so, so gross. Mm -hmm. uh, so gross. This is what low testosterone looks like. A man complaining about fatty meat. Welcome to 2020. I'll put it down, that was gross. But because it was so fatty, it really, really disturbed me. It was so, <laughs> so gross. Mm -hmm. It's really disturbing, a fatty piece of meat. So disturbing. <laughs> Oh! We are back. It's been a couple of hours. Hi. Right now, I'm going to try to make vegan protein bars. I really, really like the Go Macro bars. This is a very long video. I'm going to skip ahead. If you couldn't tell, I'm hungry. Yeah. Which is why I'm. Do you here. want to? Oh, believe me, I can tell. I've seen many, many vegans in my life. And obviously, you are hungry because you ate nothing but carbs. If you eat carbs, your insulin rises. It spikes and then it crashes. You get hungry again. The most satiating macronutrient is protein. Again, ask yourself why. Let's let's cut out a little piece so we can try them with the chocolate chips. Ugh. Thank you. That's good. Mm. Not exact. Reminiscent of. Mm -hmm. I like that. Everything is reminiscent of this. I like that. It's one of the only proteins I actually like. Yeah. Good job, professional chef. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. For full transparency's sake, this is the following day. <laughs> I fully intended to make this dinner for the vlog. We got lazy. We got Taco Bell. Life got in the way. <laughs> That's the instant pot. This is the vegan life. Don't support the animal cruelty. But when it comes down to Taco Bell and a vegan option, no worries. When it comes down to Burger King and a vegan option, no worries. Where do you think your money goes? But um, so <sighs> this tofu has been uh, being pressed for almost a full day. Tofu. Now this explains his behavior. Being pressed for Phytoestrogens. Two lots of extra firm tofu, and two. Yeah, so I. Mm. It's funny because I feel like <laughs> one block is never enough. Two blocks uh. is too many. I don't. Think, some weird witchcraft happening there. But I figured uh, we're gonna make this crispy. We're gonna bake it. This is truly what happens when you have too much comfort. People that don't go out of their comfort zone. They live in cozy, warm houses in a society that has no moral standard, no ethics, truly. And therefore, they are looking for a deeper meaning. They think they're gonna find this within veganism. The next thing you know, you have blue hair and you're eating tofu. We're gonna bake it and the cornstarch gets really nice and crispy. So I'm gonna put you in charge of this. Mm. Okay. But in this- Cornstarch and soy, super healthy. Little bowl, I've got a couple tablespoons of cornstarch. You can use like tapioca or like potato starch, arrowroot starch, anything. You could use all purpose flour too if you want. And I think it's time to fast forward again. I've texted with Chris about that idea. <laughs> Leave us in the comments. Why do you speak like this, man? Let's recommend us people that we should collab with, mm -hmm. other YouTubers, and we'll try to um, reach out. Does Brian Turner cook? Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. I just recently started following Brian. Oh, <laughs> I just recently started following Brian. Where did you follow him to? Amount of minced ginger hair. That smells so good. We just stir fried our veggies till they were tender. Um. Add our sauce, let it thicken. Think about a Chinese buffet. This reminds me a little bit of it. You can pick whatever you want. You have beef, you have pork, you have chicken, you have fish, you have noodles, you have rice, and you have those veggies. 
So now, I'm not saying that you won't pick them ever, but how much will you eat of them? Everybody knows if you want to get your value, you want to get enough bang for your buck, you will end up eating a ton of meat. You will eat a little bit of those veggies. This is true intuitive eating. So how come that we are drawn to meat? How come that we wouldn't eat copious amounts of veggies? Again, another question for you. Today, I'm not going to make statements. It's really about questioning your ideology, your religion. Please. And I'm going to cover it for a couple of extra minutes <sighs> while we let our tofu get mm -hmm. nice and crispy. Ooh, see uh -huh. And by the way, I used to eat very, very similar to this. This is your vegan protein. The vegetables are your vegan vitamins. And now you need some sort of starch. This is what they try to sell you. This is a whole food plant-based diet. All right, here's our finished product. There we go. Got our crispy the rice. Over there. Got our rice. Added some sesame seeds and some scallions. It looks really good. It smells really good. I'm excited to eat this. Hey, it's a different day, clearly, but I just wanted to hop back in. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly appreciate you guys so much. There's going to be more videos coming soon. As soon as we've moved and everything's settled back down. Hey, guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please click subscribe, guys. Guys, let's be honest, man. She looks drained. She looks tired and she already has this blurry filter on her camera. She tries to hide her skin. I can see right through it. I'm editing videos. I I know how it works. This woman is drained. She is anemic. She is starving. It is always the same with veganism. Why do you do it to yourself? As I said, it comes from a comfortable state. It comes from being spoiled. You guys have it too good. Go to Africa, go to Indonesia, see where people don't have enough to eat. See how those people have to survive, what they do to survive and what the most praised foods are. They are nutritionally dense animal foods and not tofu or noodles or vegetables. Stop torturing yourself in 2020. All right, guys, but this is it. Enough for one video, long enough as it is. We're going to cut it off here. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box for you. And as always, may God bless you all and send brain to the vegans. Much love and peace.